Hey everybody, Steven here, playing Satisfactory. This makes part 14 of my playthrough here. So, spent a little bit of time on my own trying to get the oil like rig in that area set up. So I'm going to showcase that. Um, I actually did a recording of this already for the kind of the intro, and then I went back to just check on everything, and for whatever reason, the audio was way messed up. So I did unlock another milestone. I did the alternative fuel transport milestone. So I had everything for this. Um, one of the big ones here too is the industrial fluid buffer. So excited about that. And then we get to make all these products here. Um, next thing I want to do is the gas mask. Been looking forward to this one. But with this, I need plastic and rubber. So we're going to go grab that and come back. Um, I did want to showcase kind of the upgrades to this area though it looks like a jumbled mess but one of the things I did because I started watching a handful of kind of tip videos on the game and one of them was just this tube inside of a kind of wall that you can make which that's something that you unlock but or actually I think you have to buy that with tickets but um, just actually making it um, based off of video was really, really cool. So instead of the launcher that I had down here and then um, I had the kind of gel landing pad, got rid of that stuff, I have this. Um, so it is a jumbled mess at the moment. I moved the space elevator over there. Um, I actually have a new constructor over there, which you can see some of the parts going to so I can make motors. Uh, like I said, it's a jumbled mess at the moment. I did, however, clean up my beginning portion of the steel right here. So you can see that. So that looks way better. That one's how I want the rest to look. I just have to, I'm going to have to make that. So I'm probably going to take all this, bump it back, fix that. Um, and I may bump it back a couple tiers actually in order to do that to free up more space here because I am just need more space. So I did that. Um, I found a bunch of hard drives, so I got some alternative methods or recipes. Um, one was using these steel pipes with concrete to make the, what is it, it's the capsulated or encased industrial beams. So you can see that alternative or alternate recipe right there. So just the steel pipes are quicker to make. So I have that going. Um, I did fix and toy around with this, so let's go ahead and check out the oil area really quick. So I did tweak the hyper tubes. I just have that coming up so that this kind of speeds up a little bit through here, which doesn't matter much because it, it ends up slowing down anyways. Um, I'll have to fix all of this eventually. But man, this game, it's super fun, but like anything you want to do where you're going to reorganize something is time consuming. And then the area that I had up ahead, I had it so it kind of like zigged and zagged in order to go down to the beach and then to the oil rig and uh, went ahead and tweaked all of that. Just the back and forth was slowing everything down, so... So right here, it would branch off way to the right, but got rid of that. So it kind of comes up. We do get a slowing down right here, but we're about to speed up as we go down. So now we go over the cliff here. There we go. So it makes the whole thing a little bit faster, but you can start to see some of the stuff I've done. One of the bigger things here too is tinkering with a staircase up to these hyper tubes. So this isn't fixed right now. I haven't actually fixed this, but it starts down there. It'll come up here, but I need to actually get, which I think I just did actually. Yeah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. So now I can fix that here in a little bit. Um, also, all of the glass platforms, I have expanded this a ton and then I moved the petroleum coke well, it's really the coal generators, but uh, burning petroleum coke. I uh, set this area up for the water and then ran that over here. So 
it's slowly getting better, right? But I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do this because this is uh, stacking up quick on me. But getting this out of the way, the hope was I can actually expand everything that I'm producing over here. And then I need to set up a, I'm gonna set up a hypertube system from here over there just because that's even <laughs> a long distance at this point. Uh, okay. All right, we need rubber. And we're going to need some plastic. But I'm going to drop this stuff off because I don't need this much right now. Let's grab this plastic. And I'm going to grab, actually, handful. And let's grab one more rubber. And actually don't need that. There we go. So next with this is, and actually let me double check something else too. Because I'm pretty sure all that stuff we unlocked has to do with here, right? Yep. Packaged fuel. Packaged oil. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff. And I'm probably going to put an awesome sink over here. So I can start just throwing all this at it. Get some more tickets going. But as you can see, this is where I'm looking at the hypertube on the side here. Because to run all the way over here takes a minute. Even with the Blade Runners. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about the gas mask. That's going to help a ton. Getting into some areas that uh, I've seen some purple uh, slugs that I want to get. So the tube would go here, and I actually tell you what, can I even build it right now? Oh. I can. Let's actually make this up right now. Oh, went too high. Let's go wall. Actually, I don't want that. Can we get the glass? There it is. Then let's go wall. Is that where I had it? I think it's right there. Alright, the fun part. There it is. And I can't afford it. Alright. Well, anyways, that'll go there. That'll help. And then we have this right here. So I may actually end up switching that. I may have it right there and then pop out here. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's cut ahead. I'll be back and we will do this upgrade. All right, so we are here. Let's get this thing going. There it is. Finally. Milestone reached. Gas masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based oh. hazardous environments. Let's see what this costs. Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice. Coal. Don't forget to change filters regularly. Oh, not to forget. I thought she was going to say to not. <laughs> right. Let's grab 10. Let's see what the filters cost. All right. We can make one. Oh. And two. That was the filters. Wait, wait, wait. Gas mask. There we go. And I am short on fabric. All right. We're going to have to make some fabric and get this going then. All right. Let's get this. And then, uh, so let's cut ahead. We'll have this ready to go. All right, so I finally got everything. Let's get this thing made. Had to come back and grab plastic, so I'm at the oil rig. There we go. All right. Uh, let's put that there. How do you do the filter, though? Doesn't need it. Oh, there it is in the corner. Um, cast filter. 
need coal. I wonder how long it lasts. Let's go over here. Because there is actually a power slug right there. Oh man, this is like painfully slow now for walking. Um, let's go over here. Let's see if this works. And then there's a purple one. You can barely see it right up there that I want to get to. Grab that purple one. There's actually one on top of that arch right there too. Watch that's going to be super hard to get. Got one right there, and then I got one right up there too. All right, let's see it. There we go. Grab you. Done. Let's see what's in here. There's another one right up there. There you go. There it is. They don't last a horrible amount of time. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do anything there. Whoa, guy. Whoa, I am down to one already? Or I guess that's still using this one, right? Uh, I don't know if I want to risk that. Alright, I'm gonna go grab enough stuff to make a bunch of filters. But while we're here, we can go at least grab this. There we go. Alright, more to do. Let's go make some more filters. So we'll cut ahead. Alright, so I did get the masks made. I ended up making about 21. I did a little bit of exploring on my own, found some power slugs, things like that. Um, but then I decided I want to look at the next milestone, and the big one that I want is the jetpack. And I need supercomputers, or not super, I guess they're just regular computers for that. So I have this moved. I kind of got the rest of the parts. All I need now is the plastic. So we're going to drop this in here. And there it goes. Oh, all right, so I need 25, 200, 200. Let's drop, a, do I? I think I ended with just enough too. There we go. Um, got some of the rubber. Then I need motors, that's easy. And I th think I have 20, because I found some of the computers, 21 at some of the crash sites for the little drop pod deals here. So we'll drop that off. I need more motors. I can go grab that really quick. Let's just make sure that this is going because we may get this done right now, actually. I think it's huge. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll be good. We'll grab these. I can grab the rest of my stuff too. I just had to make a uh, large storage container. Get it all dropped off in. Which I have 50. There we go. This thing is so disorganized at the moment. Just trying to get things rolling to the next tier. Um, big thing that I'm looking forward to is the freight trains. That is going to be gnarly to get going um, and then really trying to explore the map more but organize everything so it has a good flow to it uh, let's see there we go that should be it let's grab everything here I guess I already have the 100. Well, I'll just leave that in there. 200. Or, sorry, yeah, 200, 225. There it is. Alright, here we go. Boom. R&D in 
inflated your pocket dimension and has yes. provided a jetpack which operates on oil based fuel for investigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Alright, let's see what it takes to make this thing. Jetpack. Fifteen circuit boards. Fifty rubber. I have all that right now. Let's get this thing going. Alright. I'm just going to steal some from here. There it is. Jetpack times 30. Is that like fuel for it? Or no, that shouldn't be it, right? Oh, 30 hammers. The, uh, let us see. Fuel. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to make fuel now. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. What? Okay. I guess I guess we're making fuel now. <laughs> so we need to go grab some stuff and then we're gonna head back to my oil production area uh, to get this rolling. Cause I'm gonna need, yeah, I'm gonna need that canister stuff. All right, here we go. All right, so I got it all set up. It doesn't look pretty, but the fuel, like the oil production stuff, it's, I mean, this is all complicated in a sense, but like this is a whole other level. So figuring out what needs to go to what in order to make this, because there's, you have your solid products, your fuel unpackaged and then packaged. And so this packaged fuel with the fuel, but then that has two alternate recipes to it. And then the empty canister, you have multiple alternate recipes. Some of those like the roundabout is weird. I think that comes later where it's like you have excess stuff, but taking the plastic, making the canister, and then I need the fuel and I'm just using the standard oil because I was already making, I'm gonna have to fix this because I can't jump this high. Yeah. Um, I was already making the polymer resin just to make it for future stuff. And now it's like, oh, if I make the fuel, a byproduct is going to be the polymer resin. So kind of fixed itself essentially. Like I said, I actually need to, I'm going to tweak this because I don't like the fact that I can't walk, which I don't think I can go under the ground. Uh, I can't just jump over it. So, but for right now, I just wanted to get this going. There it is. All right, so n now we have it. There we go. Well, I guess now I have a jetpack, which was kind of the whole point of this. And there it is. <laughs> I still think I'm going to fix it, but not right now. Other thing I'm thinking now is how much plastic, because I need to ramp up my plastic production. Because that is going slower than I want it to go. And I think for that, what I'm going to do is try and go get that, uh, we got multiple slugs. I think I'm going to go over here and grab this slug up there. Cause I don't think I've researched the purple slug yet, which means the one that I get, yep, isn't going to do anything for me. Although it comes in handy later but for right now I don't think I'm gonna mess with that I want that one down there so let's get that set up and then we can at least increase the plastic production because I know I need that and then I want to see where I'm kind of at if we can get one more milestone awesome if not then uh, we may end up ending this video matter of fact there's a power slug over there which was the whole point of getting the gas masks when I had it So let's have the gas mask on me. Do I have my filters? Yes. 
I'm really hoping later you have more slots to put stuff because the the one is kind of a bummer you gotta swap between all this stuff oh forgot about you guys I'm not trying to fight yet where was that slug is it up there I remember seeing it uh maybe up here well oh, come on is that it I can hear it There it is. What? Get out of the way. Come on. Not enough space in inventory. Uh, what don't I need? You. Come on. There we go. Boom. All right, let's get out of here. That was one I was coming back for, so that worked out. But there's an oh, come on. Whoa. There's the third one. But there's another one right up there. There you go, right there. That I need to grab as well. Come on. Come on. Can you not jump up there, guy? Ah. Alright. Going the slower way. I'm going to have to build that out. Because I don't like that. There we go. Alright, now put on my legs. Speed that up a little bit. Okay, so now we can make a power slug. Get that production ramped up a little bit. I'm going to drop some stuff off. Or no, that opens up a slot. There we go. I did fix a couple things back at base also. It's having some stuff run out on me, so... Tweak production a little bit. All right, let's try this now. There we go. Yeah, because that's going to drain all of that, if not. And I am uh, running out of rubber. Let me double check and see what else we can make out of rubber. None of that. I don't think it's going to be anything here. Let's check the constructor. Nope. Well, for right now, I just need another one of these guys. There we go. We'll get some of it out of here. Still need that. What's the recipe? Which, hold on. What does that need? I need a lot more Caterium. It's gonna be a minute. Dang. I think later too, you find uh, Caterium like nodes, not nodes, like actual refining sites or uh, mining sites and not just a little node. There we go. Alright, 
right, let's head back. Let's check that next milestone. All right, so we have everything finally to get this next tier unlocked. So let's get this going. Well, I was one off on the rubber, but luckily I brought a bunch. There it is. Finally. Expanded power infrastructure. Finally, I needed that Caterium. Transports up to 400 resources per minute. Holy smokes. Alright, well that's going to be gnarly. And actually, what does this take? Yeah, so I'm actually going to have to make some of this. The modular frame is the big one I need to get set up to start making. And right now I have more of the computers going. But the way I have this set up is just dropping stuff off, and I don't like that. So the next big thing I want to do is get the monorail going. I need 100 of the heavy-duty frames, 50 of the computers. These two are easy. These, This one will be okay. I get that done. But this one's going to be rough. So I need to get this set up. So that is the next thing. So that'll be in the next video. In between now and then, I'm just going to hopefully clean some stuff up, get some stuff going. I'm right on that cusp of really just being able to spend time cleaning everything up and getting it really functional. Because right now, it's just all over the place. It's gotten better each video, but it's still... I mean, like, look at this. <laughs> it's still got a long ways to go. So... That is going to be it for this video, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.